Welcome back. Today, Sarah writes and says, Dear Katie, my eight-year-old son is being called gay in a derogatory way by a group of peers. My son does not know what this means in sexual terms, and I'm not sure the others do either, but he understands that it implies that he likes other boys and is like a girl. How do I teach my son to stand up for himself? And how do I have these discussions while preserving his innocence? Thanks, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, let's dive right in. Step one, tell your son you're glad he came to you. You might say something like, I'm so happy you told me about what's going on at school, even though I know it wasn't easy. Now that you've told me, let's work together to find a solution. What happens next will reinforce that you will always give him accurate answers and practical help. Step two, empathize. Ask your son how it made him feel to have another boy call him gay. He might say something like, why would they think I like other boys? Or they're the girly ones. Listen carefully and then say something like, you're right to be mad. That's hurtful because you thought they were your friends. By mirroring back what your son has expressed, he'll know that you're really listening. Step three, contextualize. This is a good chance to give your son some context, namely that boys often connect through banter and insults and sometimes one-up each other by using names like nerd or stupid. It makes them feel like they're doing something dangerous and cool. But then tell him that calling someone gay feels different because it crosses a line, which brings us to step four, have dad step in to help your son navigate boy culture while maintaining his integrity. After all, dad has been there, done that, and can offer some tailored advice. Dad should draw a bright red line between acceptable and unacceptable teasing. Namely, that it's never okay to joke in a way that's sexual, sexist, or racist. When that happens, good men know how to stand up for what's right and defend themselves and others. So dad can say, if someone insults you or anyone else by calling you gay, get right up in their face and with as much authority as you can muster say, don't call me that. Father and son can even bond over a little get in your face role playing. Basically, boys need to be trained by dad or a mentor to courageously defend what's right. So when you and your husband tag team to show your son empathy and outline an action plan, then Sarah, you've got this.